So our eBay faker friend Valdiani Zero from Dunfermline in Scotland has been at it again. This is a genuine British Army helmet, but he's listed as British World War II William Hughes named steel helmet 1939. It's actually a Mark IV shell. You know the one that's introduced late 44? That became the NATO Mark IV, so it's actually a Mark III shell. And he's actually been faking the name in it. So we'll take a look at it. Okay. And we'll go that way. So you can see it's clearly the later pattern shell introduced 44 onwards. What makes it William Hughes? Inside, it still retains its original shell. So it's an original, untouched World War II British Army steel helmet, but the guy has artificially enhanced it by putting, if I turn the camera that way, he's engraved, where's it at there? He's engraved a fake name in it, William Hughes. That's not original to it. Okay, and what makes it 1939? He's put in the top of the rim a fake date stamp of 1939 and he's offering it as a 1939 steel helmet when clearly it isn't. It's a late war Mark III, Mark IV shell. So you really have to watch out for this guy. And let's see what else he's got. British World War II William Hughes named steel helmet, which it isn't. We have a British RAF calendar and pan on stand. So let's see what makes it RAF. £19 by now. So to me, it looks like just a normal 1950s desk set. But what makes it RAF is his fake engraved REF onto it so it must be genuine then so we'll take a look at what other treasures he's got he's got German World War One Kaiser Imperial cigarette case I'm not even gonna bother looking at that because we've done cigarette cases in the past the usual array of fake watches. A 78th German infantry und Sturm Division wooden trinket box. And it's a 78th infantry und Sturm Division wooden trinket box because it's got two fake badges engraved onto it. Uh, let's see what else he's doing. A German World War II Idleweiss Mountain Division military hat. So let's take a look at this. And actually, it's a post World War II Bundy hat with a post World War II Idleweiss on it. So that's not even original either. Let's see what else he's doing. Among his treasures. A German World War II Kriegsmarine U-Bot U-28 metal plate. £29 and there's one bid on it. So somebody's going to be done out of some money. And of course, what makes it a U-board plate is the fake engraving that's in the middle of it, which is a kind of weird 
you bought on a cross and 97 underneath it. That's got to be genuine, hasn't it? Fake area of watches. Two Kriegsmarine items. Operation Vesebung Ashtray and Lutzau ship bell. A bell from Lutzau. Let's take a look at that. So it's a bell from the Lutzau because it says Deutschland 1940 Lutzau. That must be genuine. And there's the Kriegsmarine Ashtray. Well worth what? Two pound the car boot sale. Let's see what else he's doing. So I, I just, I'm astonished that people believe these are genuine. German 8th Cavalry Division wind up clock. £35 if you want it. A German World War II Der Stahlhelm gun lighter working. And of course, it's a 1950s novelty lighter with a fake German helmet badge put on the side of it. Liebstandard Division silver frame miniature hallmarked. 925 14 grams with a fake badge on it. Idlewise Mountain Division Silver Ring. A British World War II Airborne Corps Victoria Vintage Fawn. Now, there you go. I bet you didn't know the British Airborne was raised in the Victorian era. Because that's a new one on me. I mean, the history books need to be rewritten. A Victorian Vintage Fawn to the Airborne Corps. How rare is that? So let's see what makes it a British Airborne phone, shall we? I've never said, you know, I'm amazed at this. The history books really need to be rewritten. And of course, it's an Airborne Corps because the guys engraved on the handle won Airborne Corps. So I look forward to the day that turns up in a military publication because I actually didn't know that the British Airborne Division was raised in the Victorian period. Fancy that. I think the only genuine item he's got on there are three Russian USSR Army winter hats. And what's that? Well, actually, I think they could be East German with Russian badges on them, but there you go. Polish Eagle cigarette case, fake watch. A German World War II military gas mask canister and a brass cannon. £35 now. I don't know about you, but that looks like one of those Chinese replica gas mask canisters. I'm pretty certain it is. So let's take a look at this. And yeah, I'm pretty certain that's a reproduction. Yeah. On the bottom of it, his rubber ink stamped in black. Arbeit macht frei. Now, I bet you didn't know that. German gas mask canisters have work conquers all on the base of them. There you go. How about that? This guy is a, is a genius. I'm really impressed. So no, that's not a real one. Canon, made in India reproduction. And it's got, he's etched on the barrel. I don't know if you can see that. He's etched across the barrel. Got mit uns. There you are. This, this guy is a complete genius. So let's continue with his various treasures. see what he's got are you tempted by any of these i mean you know but uh 
rare 1939 dated British Army Mark IV steel helmet could be tempting. And that Victorian airborne watch. And he's got his usual German World War II Luftwaffe Jagdgeschwader 51 German fighter wing, wooden carved eagle. It's got a fake badge engraved on it. Austria and Hungary miniature medal set in box. Again, that's one of the probably genuine items he's got. World War II Africa Corps Erwin Rommel silver pocket watch. Rommel's pocket watch. Let's have a look at Rommel's pocket watch. For £49 currently on eBay. Must be a bargain to somebody. Well, there we are. Now let's see what makes it Rommel's pocket watch. It makes it Rommel's pocket watch because on the back of it, it's got the words Deutsche Afrika Corps and the post-war Afrika Corps Veterans Organisation emblem in the middle of it. Uh, but sadly, there's nothing on it to say that it's actually Rommel's. But you never know, somebody could be in with a bargain there. Rommel's silver pocket watch. Let's carry on up. A Gross Deutschland division wind up clock. Africa Core, two metal spoons, £29, one bid. Let's see what makes them Africa Core. Now, to me, they look like two bog standard spoons. But hang on a minute, there's something engraved on them. Let's see what makes them Africa Core. They're Africa Core because they have the post war emblem of the Africa Core Veterans Association engraved on them. Probably engraved on them yesterday. Let's see if there's anything on the back of them to say that Africa Core. No, nothing at all. But I suspect that along this edge, they've had the words EPNS for electroplated nickel silver, and it's been ground out. So there you are. So are you not tempted by those? Well, let's see what else this guy's got. Maybe you could be tempted by... Three British Army RAF uniform jackets. Again, yeah, the genuine, but the post-war. A German World War II Battle of Britain Zippo lighter, twenty-nine pound one bid. Three USA medals named in box: bronze star, air medal, purple heart, silver rifle, one hundred and forty-two pound, and there's four bids. Let's see how these medals are named. Now then, what makes these named medals? Hmm, I'm not convinced about that. This is the the air medal. Okay, let's let's take a look at them now. Hang on, we'll go back to the small picture because we can get it up better. Now, does that look like genuine engraving on the back of the air medal? Because to me, it doesn't. That's totally fake. Okay, that's on the back of the air medal. Now, let's see the quality of the naming on the purple heart. And the purple heart is absolutely atrocious. Look at that. There's no way... That naming is genuine to that medal. And that's it. The other ones obviously aren't named. Oh, hang on a minute. There's one more picture. Oh. The Bronze Star is also named. But again, very badly done. So I think he's done them himself using reproduction medals. So if you're not tempted by those... They're at £142 and there's four people bidding on them. Another Luftwaffe fake eagle. If you're tempted by it. More fake rings, fake razor. Fake Kriegsmarine tie clip. Let's 
let's have a look. Three USSR medals, name with document. An SA steriliser. More rings. Panzer Division trinket box. And his usual array of crap. So, how about that? But I'm really impressed. Really impressed by that renamed faked up helmet. So there you go. Another array of fake rubbish.